so much more than just butterfly jeans. Hey folks, I'm back. Ooh, back and ready to to jack in to the Cyber Matrix. Maybe I should just play pure pinball 2 Redux though. Look at that cover art. How can you beat that? You got me interested in your pinball game now. Mm hmm. 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 I don't see the broads with the machine guns though. Hmm. That's okay. Let's just get back into it then. I know there's cyber boobs in here, deep inside. Oh, I should um, I need to just get the headphones on. Maximum cyber audio quality. I can still kind of hear a tone. It's cleaner than what comes out of my PC, though. Although I need to try to reinstall. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to. Uh this I need to uh, I need to try to reinstall my audio drivers because I think those can occasionally help clean up or remove digital noise oh, I gotta turn that shit off hold on game overlay do you use a DAC or just onboard sound at this point I'm using a DAC but I might try on board sound again. If I get a patch. Body count lottery rounded out to a solid and the win Windows 11 drivers did not work when I tried to install them before. And it got stuck with like a script that would run at startup that just aired out every time. So every time Windows booted, I just saw an error screen. That was cool. Blackout in Santo Domingo. Net runners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teens scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Yes, Frank, I've experimented with that. It's not that. It's not, it's not ground loop. It is, it is electric noise being produced inside of the case. It's the video card. Uh, I can hear it when I'm rendering video. There's no way to get rid of it. Uh, aside from... Isolating the, like, tracer leads on the board that... I don't know. Maybe I can put, like, EMF isolation around whatever chip processes and sends the audio signals? I don't even know if that's going to do it. Uh, although it's interesting, even even with ground loop isolators, there are certain audio connections I cannot do because it creates uh, incredible feedback when it comes to like audio loops between two PCs. I think that's why, yeah. I had an issue where I was trying to merge all of my audio and then I just got like an outrageous buzz and it was just the connection between two PCs doing it, even with isolators. Oh, uh, Reese, thank you very much for the sub. I had bad news this week. Had to put one of my cats down. She had liver failure. Her name was Sid. Well, I'm sure Sid had a wonderful life.
You said... You said you think Sid made it to, uh, to 13 years? It's a great run, and hey, as long as you still remember... And remember that, that love and togetherness... Sid's never really gone. Sapphire. The event is invitation only. No invite. Keep out if you know what's good for you. Is Robocop in this game? Kinda? I feel like Max Tack probably counts as Robocops. Robocop Squad. Oh yeah, I'm up here. Alright. It's weird. I feel like I. I've updated my drivers since the last time I played the game, and I feel like the input latency is higher. They must have they must have updated DLSS. Whoa. The video smoothness is is outrageous. It looks way better, but it feels a little laggier. It's kinda weird. Wasn't expecting that. Do you do the quest at the end of this bridge? Is there a cyber psycho down there or something? How far into the DLC am I? Uh, I'm not very far. I do have a DLC quest that's, uh, that's next up. Yeah, let me check out the settings. Let me see what's going on there. Yeah, I have frame gen on. Um, and ray reconstruction. I think... I'm going to guess that there's diff yeah, motion blur is off. Frame gen almost feels like motion blur. I mean, it is technically, it's like, it's like what motion smoothing was for TVs. Uh, just better. Oh, you're talking about NVIDIA Reflex? I don't know if that's in, in Cyberpunk. She didn't win the race. It's tough out there. Caveman, chill out. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't care. I couldn't talk to her. God damn. Uh, cool with the back seating already. Man. Right away. Okay, let's see. What's this? God, I'm gonna have to remember all the buttons again. Oi. Hmm. Okay. Do the other. Let me do the rest of this. Oh, we, wait. Oh, no, that was in Forza. Wah! What the hell are they doing there? I want a pee pee poo poo gun. Oh! Come on. What the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> Any of the buttons? Uh... Okay. Partially cut content? Whatever. 
What do you mean? Are you... Are you fully certain... That the quest was not interactable because the... I just finished the race there. Grab the courts to my drop spot and fly. Is it possible that I couldn't even do the quest? Ugh! Man, this car is awesome. Whoa. What's that all about? Ah! Yeah, it's just weird having to rewrite my, uh... Oh, God. I feel no shame. I'm going to rewrite my, like, uh... Button expectations. To my... To different fingers. It's like, it's oddly more difficult to adapt to this than it was to just map them to keyboard presses because that at least I did with my hand in the same way. But this is like a different hand. It's like my left instead of my right and also it's different fingers to map to control templates that I am more familiar with. So it, this is a head trip, but kind of what I got to do. If only they allowed uh, like simultaneous inputs from keyboard and controller. Ever since 2.0, it's like it has to, like, switch from one to the other. Oh, slippery, slippery. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, Mirage had a hybrid control setting. That is really neat. I feel like it's, from an accessibility standpoint, just doing that is going to be more important in the future. I'll benefit because it lets me use this stupid controller, but I feel like a lot of accessibility devices use mixed inputs as well. Oh yeah, I knew I picked the right merc for the game. My man will take care of the rest. Little token of my appreciations waiting for you in the drop locker. That's left bumper. That's right. I keep thinking about different ways to lay this out, and then I realize, like, it has to both mimic a controller. Yeah, it's basically just mimicking a controller. Yeah. Ah, Frankens, you have a favorite kind. Tech, power, or smart? I haven't really used a ton of them, to be honest. Um... Bouncing bullets is fun, but I haven't done it since 2.0, and honestly, it was a little finicky when I tried to do it before. This car has a kind of a high-pitched whine to it. I saw this on the way out.
Take the shirt off of his back. Holy moly, what's this? Okay. Smuggling pregnant people? Ugh. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Fury Road reference. Alright, All right, I slam a beer, I get back in the car. Yeah, I guess the sniper rifle makes sense. So slippery. Whoa. 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 Uh oh. 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 Talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? Tell me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Ooh! Okay. It's making kind of a sound now. Ah, come on! Uh. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it says bye to you. That's awesome. Back into my economically priced vehicle. Ugh. Oh, yeah, so Caveman, I actually didn't end up doing a whole lot of those um, chance encounter or NPC encounter quests. I guess maybe we know why. You just have to have an item before you interact with them. Oh. Virus in my core. Damaged. 
Please. Please. You've come to the right place. NCPD, gang wars, not in dog town. Taxes, who the fuck? Okay, that's that part. Dog, I keep your business safe as long as you abide by my rules. Sounds good to you? I thought so. Well, since I've been here, Ronnie the Ronster. Yeah, Ronnie. What do you need, boss? Let's see what you got. Dreamy shit you ever seen. I think I have some random guns to sell to the typhoon. Boop. Thank you for your business. To you, Canalito. I don't think I'd recognize you on the street today. <laughs> Your room's exactly the way you left it. Just as messy as the day you disappeared. <laughs> I ain't your criada, boy. And you clean it when you come back. And I'll introduce you to Sofia, her baklava. Oh, man. You just have to try it. There's so much catching up to do. It's been 10 years. <laughs> oh, how the heck do you? Oh, is it like? Wow, interesting. Okay. Hmm, is it time to start flirting? I guess I gotta... Gotta play the game here. Well, that's nice. Yeah, the Jefferson Perales campaign quest is really cool. I do like the idea of there being Illuminati shits. I feel like technology will theoretically make it easier to to find them. Hey friend, you good? What's up? Some oh, that's right. There's that NPC downstairs, like Kaboom! banging on the wall. An explosion of taste. How'd someone like you end up here? My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Gape Earth and this unhappy wretch entomb. Or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Your programming sounds... ancient. What can I get you? Now that's a smart robot. What happens when robots start making literary references even we don't understand? Just chilling. Hold on. Do I know you? Nah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude's just hanging out. Okay. That's not weird. I'll see you, Rogue Chef. Enjoy your meal, enjoy your time away from work. 
It's always the most exciting time of day. The stakes are the highest. I do. And yes, the rules is Ah, V, you're here. I should have eavesdropped. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Damn it. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the op there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. 360 right. stool sit. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on kids' luxury it was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Oop. Worked out though, right? We're all here, now, together. Hmm, which can't be said for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Huh. I'm just poking around. Just peepsy poking. I do love looking at all the little cyber things. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. Let me check that out. Oh yeah, this is the one that's like a million rounds a minute. Hold on. I don't think... Yeah, it won't let me draw it here. Damn it. Alright, well... We parsed the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. Oh man, the cool sit? Not just her. Ladder goes for you too. Right. Our objective. To free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue up. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mines. Not about a pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, she doesn't get treatment. And a 
killer. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall. Oh my god. And its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you in Songbird. It's like hack uranium. All right. Oh. Plan. Let me hear it. That is some intense techno babble. I like it. Hanson to meet with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Emmerich and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand? Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hanson. That's getting a little ridiculous. Ah! Oh! You can see the stuff under his fingernails. God damn, come on. So we kidnap him. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental wide in NC, an exploitable opening. We're going to track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. <laughs> yeah, we need a mod that adds skin mites. I saw there's like an HD reworked mod for Cyberpunk, and I just can't fathom why. You with us, V? And you're rolling all this read. I need to look into the look into it just to see what it is, but once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hanson. Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hanson's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hanson. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hanson, take him and his guards out. Hanson and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hanson set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Oh, man. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the anywhere. And Songbird? So they're gonna assassinate him? Shit. We have to rescue her. Nero. I told you as much yourself. Thanks for the sub. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. We don't have all day. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal, want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hanson's iron grip and seizing tech that's going to save your lives. We keep assuming she wants to be saved, though. And, and she's said multiple times members. that she Disguise wants to be there? To the or she needs to be there? I don't know. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. I do like how intimidating Hanson is. So, 
Time we talk nab and the runners? Cover that in a minute. To another table. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly? Still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep, saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will, is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hanson up on a silver platter, and be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways, we're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks. What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Ooh, not smart enough to say that one. Uh, I have a Razer Kio. Used to be my main webcam, and then I upgraded to a, like a digital camera Scab so I get that pretty depth of field effect back there. So, breach the station, trace the car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Hey! That's awesome! It's the same thing from the intro, and you can acknowledge that? I like it. You know, Kabuki's tech wizards sell similar stuff under the counter. Wouldn't ever call it reliable. Well, fed tech wizards are just more skilled than Kabuki's. Better be. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. Get right on it. Get right on it. Do, 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 do. This is a pretty good, like, spy hovel. It's got to be underground, right? Humming machinery, low lighting. Is this one of the video games of all time? Aren't they all? Aren't they all video games of time? A game of time. Xor? Thank you very much for the sub. Let's see here. Are you, oh, you asked for a cool gif? I think you got one. Chromed out dude spinning around with lasers everywhere. I defy you to think of something cooler than that. Chlorosis. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per mm. month. For the per month. consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. Landfill inferno. Ain't nothing without your help. Oh. 
all saying thank you. Get you back up off the wall. Really, really seems like that just crashed. Let's go check it out. Ugh. Why is dod air dodging is so funky? Oh, here's the million rounds a minute. you hit to like pull it out again uh is it this one? Oh my gosh it's not that okay there we go God, every time i gotta i gotta remember how to do it all right what was that yeah wait no not that one Yowza, that's big. Give me your encrypted data. No, no, you're the one who keeps pestering people. Mm -hmm. Carrying capacity. Oh, that's awesome. Sometimes you just want to feel like a badass motherfucker. <laughs> Drugs and booze. I don't think that was... Was that what crashed, though? I guess so. Okay, yeah. Cool way to signal that to the player. Wah. B, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry, completely painless. Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I guess. We can take that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. Is there a second thing? Right. It's super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay. Meet to Delta. We'll see you soon. What did I get? Stamina cost? Nice, 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 nice. Well, I guess I can buy other stuff now. I don't have any of that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe? Could be fun for the SMG stuff. Or I could buy a launch system. Timber violence. 
Thanks for the sub. I'm buying it. Stack five times. Reaching max stacks doubles the effects. Holy cow. Use the launch system as oh, yeah. use the launch system as part of your Doom Slayer. That's awesome. You have a Doom Slayer build? Alrighty. Cool. What, what do I get for that? Cyberware. Neat. Oh. Hey. Where? Hey. Where you at? Oh, fuck. Ah. Uh, where is it? There we go. Trying to remember the buttons. Ah! Oh, no way! You can you get to do that with melee? Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I didn't think that was gonna. I was that. Ugh, I didn't think that was that at all. Cool. Okay, I got another perk point, man. Everything's coming up, Lawrence. Is there more of the intergumentarian skeleton? Okay, I want this. So I can get this. So I can get this. Kind of mouse is that? It's a Azeron gamepad. That makes any sense. I wonder if I can upgrade anything. So you can't up you can't upgrade tier five stuff, I guess? Yeah, it's just not even showing up. I guess hopefully I can find a like a blueprint for a katana, and then maybe I can try to roll five plus plus his max level. So how come that's not showing up in the upgrade in or in the upgrade interface? Oh, reserve for iconics. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Might as well then. To, who needs to walk like a poor person? Huh? When I can ride in style.
the fuck? Wake the fuck up, patrol. Civilians are acting up again. Transmitting cords. Oh, I can't take that? <laughs> Interesting. He did say they were coming, that's true. <laughs> He wasn't lying. Why? Well, he's got some good drugs on him, though. Oh, come on, bro. There's a cop there? Jesus Christ. Complicated out here. Where's my car? Oh. I guess, yeah, I was getting in his face, wasn't I? Getting all up in that face. God, this guy looks so shitty. This might be an important conversation. Well, here we are. You and me, face to face. Sort of? Sure we're alone. Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. Means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. It is a cool jacket. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn, actually from there. What 
wouldn't mind hearing about it. Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasting funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his tunes. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Know how you feel. Wasn't anything like Brooklyn, my home, but... Got a memory you cherish? It never gets peaceful where I'm from. Just know that wherever I am in the world, it feels like I'm walking Haywood streets. I just realized this here more than... For some reason, more than other conversations, the effect seems more prominent, but... They really do master V's audio as though it's coming from inside your own head. There's like a... There's like a top of your skull resonance to it. To replicate that effect, I think. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you missed something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Hmm. Songbird, need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hanson spring the trap on Myers. My end of the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he... Blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. Hmm. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. It fucked everything up. I know, V. But I had no choice. Always got a choice, Song. Always. Did it. Not this time. For Myers, the NUSA, I'm um, just another weapon in the arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Past mistakes. We both bear it. It ain't easy. Me for the biochip, you for the black wall. You mean to say it's my fault? No, just that when you try to save yourself, it's usually somebody else who pays the price. Hmm. Yeah. Ain't that the brutal fucking truth? You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Don't trust Reed? Whoa. Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join his serve or become a Netwatch trophy. 
That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. I wanna ask, actually, what happened exactly? You know, when you reach past the Black Wall. Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. Mean losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes... I lose control, or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too, with the Chimera. Like a living nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed, from everything. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hansen as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk wanted that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City's just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, B. Gotta Man, get out. The score is so to good. That, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. A blue battle hawk? You're just thinking about me and Phantom Liberty? Well, good timing. I mean, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's uh, it's a further refinement of what they were putting down in Cyberpunk, which you could argue, you know, standard to be refined, stood to be refined. Yeah, the gameplay changes are all awesome. Uh, the story is fun so far. There haven't been any real gut punches, but I think those are coming probably. I'm gonna have to choose who lives and who dies, I'm sure. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? It'd be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission. Grab the null matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then? Um... You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. That doesn't sound reliable. And that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? <laughs> yes. Ooh. I like how you can see some of the frame generation 
artifacting between the lines of text when you flicker it like that. That's kind of fun. Should be pretty clear. I mean, to survive, too. I appreciate your honesty. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hanson. Uh, complicated. Complicated. Ah. Back now, though. Love to see it. Oh. <laughs> Claire's telling me to get better at driving. <laughs> Practice. Um, Baker Zen. Thanks for gifting a couple of subs there. Enjoy your sniper rifle. That reminds me, I got the I got the drop for the shoes, I think. I should go check those out. Damn, that's awesome. Uh Alright, let's see. Rescue Lena from the BD store. Yeah, there's an apartment here. It's so dumpy though. I guess it ought to be. Kodiak's Law. Thanks for gifting a sub. And another sub. Thank you for gifting two subs. Enjoy your sniper rifle. I got a warehouse full of sniper rifles and they gotta go. Taking the nice car to Dogtown. So wait, you can like talk about that conversation with Reed? I guess what's the what's the concern that Reed might take the AI thing back to the US government or NUS government? Alright, that sounded like that sounded like another thing crashing. Oh shit, it's up there. Oh! I'm not a part of this. I do want to chase it, though. Ah, but I also want this cachet that just dropped. Did you get a text from Alex? Uh, a while ago... Uh, I'm sorry. Deathy, thank you very much for gifting two subs. Is fun. Mm 
Beat the DLC a few days ago with my Cyber Ninja build. Very bitter, but fitting ending. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be a... I didn't think it was going to be a non-stop happy fun time. Explosive rounds. Soft, so you don't have to be. Encrypted data. Oh. Don't mind if I do. I wonder if this just gives me more money. Hey, Kenobi Corner. Thanks for the sub. Ah, uh, Joe Malik, you hear the, like, microwave ding? Twitch telling you your boots are ready? Your cyber boots have arrived, sir. Okay. That was neat, I guess. Biddle, diddle, 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 diddle. We got one of the worst endings, but it was narratively satisfying, if that makes sense. Oh, sure. I mean, I obviously can't speak to anything going on in uh, Phantom Liberty, but... A lot of, um... A lot of the base campaign's endings were like that. Give Solomon read a little buzz and see how this conversation goes. I feel like I want to save first, though. Solomon Bree. Hey, I'm listening to your thing on the radio. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's just read. Okay. There we go. Be status report. Reed, hey, I'm Nova. Thanks. How are you? Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Then we'll have time to chat. For now, fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIPs ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. About her sitch. It's looking bad. <laughs> Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. We need that car tracking. So get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately. Hmm. What are the... I mean... Yeah, what he doesn't know won't hurt him, but also, like, he might help is the thing if he, if he feels guilt about it. He might, like, give his consent for Somi to, to take off. Maybe? Like, it might be better to just let him know? Hmm. I'll play it cool for now, though. I mean, I definitely can't trust Reed all the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with my gut for now. Not everybody's gotta know everything, alright? That's one thing I actually learned, like, slightly. Managing people and kind of getting a, a different view on work organization is that, yeah, sometimes a little information can be a lot dangerous. Sometimes dancing is dangerous.
All right, time to go fall asleep on my stack of cardboard boxes. Actually, I'm gonna dismantle inventory stuff. I think I'm holding on a lot of uh, clothes. Yeah. It's like, I feel like you just you equip the highest stat thing you have. It's kind of what I've done. I don't think you. I don't know, 25? Yeah, there's like reload reduction, health regen, or health item recharge. Is. Let's see here. Yeah, you get some something out of that. Armor, explosion damage, melee damage. Weapon zoom. Why not? I don't think pants. Do pants ever have stats? Only helmets or chest pieces give armor. Okay. Makes it really simple. It's kind of weird with the um, with the transmog system being so permissive. There's really no reason to hold on to anything. Man, that looks really nice. It feels like you shouldn't dismantle like fully iconic stuff, though. Yeah, but there's no reason not to. Oops. It's always there. It feels bad, but it's always there. All right. Why? Goodbye, David. Yeah, if you want more than the six outfits, that's a good point. I guess then you'll have seven. Which are actually, uh... Be careful. Be careful. Wiener alert. Wiener alert. Oh. Oh. Let's get some let's get some jammies on that bad boy. I want to experiment with a new look. I really wish there was more that you could wear, like, with a headpiece. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. Yeah, a little bucket up to top it all off. A little cap on everything. Oh, there's a mod for that? Equipment EX. Does it just add more? What does it do? Nope. 
Next race is in the Badlands. Like for reals. Let me do this. Let me do this mission first, and then I'll do a race. I had a lot of fun playing Forza Motorsport. I want to get back to that. Just listening to tunes and hard driving. Oh, okay. Equipment EX adds more layers that clothing mods use. Ah, helmet, glasses, mask instead of just one or two. Gotcha. There we go. Out of the way, I'm a spy. Okay, good, he took off. Whoop, no, I don't want to go that way. Whoops. I don't know where they think they're sending me. Way's gone crazy. Fresh corpses there. Why don't you control yourself? I'll have to get better on the timing with that. It worked out though. Yeah, you got to do that really far in advance. Mom, don't talk like that. You know it's not true. I think I don't got eyes. You can see them streets empty and out. Today, Bless, home. Young folk. Come on, don't keep me waiting. Make no you move. For us. At least there's work in this. Kind of sunk if uh, if reflection just stops working. I feel like it's like fifty percent. Hmm. Want to get another chance to vault? Didn't work, hit the wrong button.
do it again. This time's gonna work. This time's gonna be smooth. I know it. I'm gonna get that vault. Hey, Bongo. No. Damn. Only took a few tries. I mean, it's actually pretty cool because it may like you have to kind of play not perfectly, but you certainly can't take a long string of hits. So you kind of do have to get to the point where you just kind of cruise through a bunch of dudes without getting shot, which is awesome. We're trying to blow up the trying to blow up the church. That's pretty cool, I guess. Whoa. I think I scared him. It is spooky season. Even corpses can be frightened. Back into the church? Yeah, maybe it's on a lower level. Tracking step. It's over there. I'm too stupid! Oh, okay. problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Hey, what's up, okay. Peek? Got another station for you to try. Think we're good with just one more? <laughs> it's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Uh, how goes? I'd say it goes pretty well. I'm enjoying a pretty relaxed day. Ugh. I got no problems. Did the dishes. Uh, ate some leftovers. Weather outside is beautiful. 
and I'm staying away from it. Hiding indoors, playing video games. Retrie retrieve a prototype implant and its schematics. Huh. A few days ago, the scavengers raided a convoy returning from the stadium. Soon after, I received a call from a regional director of Zetatech confirming or informing me said convoy was theirs. Now, they tried to keep their transaction on the down low. Unfortunately, it seems the scavs go lower. Zetatech lost a valuable prototype implant along with its technical documentation. Uh, they'd like to retrieve their lost items. Fortunately, the prototype is emitting a trackable signal. It's pointing us to a scab haunt in the Longshore Stacks at the construction site of a long, unfinished skyscraper. So need the coordinates to trust you to do the rest. V, I received word, Hassan, your acquaintance from the scraper, wishes to contact you. Naturally, I declined to hand him your contact details. However, if you wish to speak to him, I've sent you his current coordinates. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to remember Hassan. Alright. Uh, Peek, they- these are pretty intuitive to use. Honestly, it's just like... Oh, oh yeah. Car's pretty wedged. It takes a minute to adapt. Uh, and then there's individual quirks for various games because they're just kind of not made for this by any stretch. Let's see if I can throw it in reverse here. There we go. I did run over a few people. But the uh, the inputs are fully mappable for Cyberpunk since the since the controls are actually very complicated in this game now. Uh, I have to use a mixture of controller binds and keyboard binds on the Azeron itself. So here, get a load of this. So yeah, you can see the various like buttons and sticks here, and then keyboard shortcuts to go to various things that the keyboard binds let you do that there is no bind on the the gamepad for so yeah it's a whole thing it took a while cyberpunk is one of the more complicated games in terms of control templates because there's 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 moving there's driving and then there's shooting while driving and they try to keep a lot of those actions to the same buttons but there's some times where they just can't uh so it's kind of a miracle GTA 5 did all that. And here's a little Polish studio being like, we can do that. Pretty much there. We tried using it on 14? No. Not at all. I don't think... My muscle memory of 14 is too... Too ingrained at this point. I don't think there'd be much to be gained out of using it in 14, really. Um, the thing that I'm lacking is the ability to instantly target various party members without having to hit the F keys or move my hands around. Nothing to find. For that, an MMO mouse would be ideal. Oops. Oh, no! I wanted to talk. No, get out. Get out. I didn't know there was talking. Ah. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it. If you Hold on. <sighs> I was in a rush. Do they make a right hand version? I think they do. Yeah, you could use one in each hand. Then you'd basically have like a controller. You'd have two analog sticks. I don't know. I don't know if you can have multiples plugged in at once though, now that I think about it. I don't know how that would work. How the soft. I guess the software might be able to identify multiple Azerons. I'll 
Bell? She there she there iron. If you had an Azeron in each hand and two foot pedals, you'd be really in it. Oh, hell yeah. You can pick a radio, it just doesn't play. Turn the sirens on. That's the horn. Looking for something? Won't find it here. There's nothing to find. Hey, that your mom? She doing all right? Uh huh. She's fine. Sure about that? Don't know. Maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BD. She'll wake up soon, snarf a scop dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. She's a gamer. Karen Exotics. I work for him. Need to fix our transceiver. Whatever. <laughs> oh, you headed off to the Elmo? That's kind of you, caveman. What are you going to go see? Borked. Well, the round being dedicated is kind. I just realized that made no sense. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah. Turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Thanks, but no thanks. Be fine on my own. Sure, sure. Yeah, totally. What about ten? I'll help you for ten ads, too. Okay, Eddie's are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So? Switch. Where is it? Shrewd negotiator. I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Like we said, 
ice cold. That was the wrong one. That's awesome. Warmer. Warmer. Getting hot. What the fuck? My BD. No. And the best fucking bit, too. Jankass power grid? <laughs> You got two surefire fixes. Hard reboot or hard kick. We're back out, baby. Dude was so excited his porn kicked back in. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Don't even think about plotlining here. I'm going to touch a corpse. Uh, uh, this, uh, this gotta uh, be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Ah, this fucking sucks. Preaching to the choir. Fully encrypted. Nice work. I'll get a start on tracking Aurora and Ayermic. Um, Americ? As soon as they're near Dogtown, we'll know. We're in business. Signal from the tracker is live. Need a couple hours. Call you soon. All right. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. That's still a thing? No? Okay. Uh, let's, let's race. I think I've proven I am a responsible driver. Man, I bet I'm gonna look, I bet I like flash as hell in front of my, uh, what photo mode was here? Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Take screen. Let me do that. Yes. Behold this cool guy. Oh, here we go. Stop by the moth, kick back, take a breather. Got a bottle open. What do you say? Hell yeah. Is this where she's going to backstab me? She's going to she's gonna booze me up? Oh, I actually should probably do this now then, huh? All right, I'll do this now. Cause I imagine if the recall happens, you can't meet Alex anymore. What is this? My decisions mattering and changing the story couldn't be. Mustn't be. Well, 
there she goes. Took her to a new part of town. an interesting challenge to see how far you can cruise through this section and keep your keep your speed. Oh! I'm like rally driving. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy elaborate is infiltrated to downtown. That means any USA spy and agitators are in your midst. Keep your eyes on you. There's prices in Dogtown! Certified Injection pumps! Yeah, Baker Zen, I, I was confused by that a little bit too. But hey, whatever. I've been chased by the cops a couple times since 2.0 came out, and it's, it's fun. I think they did a good job on those systems, and it is kind of fun to get in those GTA-style car chases. I just didn't think that it was like... I didn't really expect that kind of thing in the original. Uh... I didn't expect this this full bladder either. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, folks. Appreciate your patience. Did a little bit of stretching. Rolled some things out. Tenderized some knots. Do this often? Drink solo? Often? Not the word I'd use. I wrote you because... Because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission, not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, Vegito. Doing some Phantom Liberty stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this conversation, then I'm going to go back to base game content. Okay. So, what you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. I like the sound of that myself. Just shed this skin and leave the Night City murk behind. Hey. Yeah. Like, who are you anyway? <laughs> Good question. All the shit going on in my life lately? A damn good question. Definitely too soon to know for sure. Say, do you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Ooh. I'd probably be running the streets. <laughs> Haywood at least, that I know. Padre might have something to say about that. You know each other? Well, I know him. Kind of doubt he's got a file on me. To your health. Okay, now you... Who would you be if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star.
Ever acted before? Outside your agency assigned roles, I mean. No. Not for more than an audience of one. Just dreaming of being under the lights. Where everyone's watching me. But I know, and they know, it's all make-believe. To our dreams. For they alone keep us sane. Ain't that the truth? I love this song. Never knowing which way's up down. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing. And it feels as though I'm waiting. What's up, candles? And I don't need no head in my hands. Gosh, she's even wearing boots. No, I'm ever heading way south. I think I'll find it all somewhere between the ice and fire. Cause it's all I'm ever thinking. I don't hear anything about it right now. Take down. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. What do you mean? This meaning? Doing shit. Just cause. No forethought. Carefree relaxing. Why is this listed as agro industrial though? Hmm. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. That was sweet. Hmm. I'm glad that it like, didn't have anything to do with the plot. I was worried that that's... I thought she was gonna, like, grill me down about shit and want to know where I stood on things. But it was explicitly not that, which was really cool. If you're ever really in downtown, we're ready to welcome you with... So this is the guy banging on the door. And he won't stop it. I don't know if I can shoot him. Let me try. Well, attack me! He left. Do you think he's gonna come back and keep banging on the door? Berry burger. Oh wait, you can't actually buy anything here. Ah! If you kill the people inside, will he still bang on the door? These are the real M Sim questions. That's the experience that's, that uh, CD Projekt promised us. What the fuck? Ah, you're here. I was just wondering if you'd come. Wondering that myself, Hassan. Corpse got wide radar and long memories. Stick your neck out like this, they could bite. Yes, I could have rotted in a scav cage. You could have left me at the Fixer's mercy. Could, would, should. Looks like you're doing pretty well. This your new pad? So that's the sun. It is. It may not be a Corpo Plaza penthouse, but I can't complain. At least I didn't sign my life away to a bank. <laughs> Down payment came from me, though. Seems my cred bought you a second chance. Yeah. I, uh, yes. That's why I'd like to repay you. Is this Yuri Lowenthal? Yeah. For you. 
Huh. Don't know this model. Ah, it's something I was tinkering with. I may not have been completely honest, but the engineer part wasn't a lie. I went to the stadium, showed what I could do, and landed a few investors. This is the first real copy I made. For you. Thanks, Hassan. No, thank you. Now we are even, it seems. <laughs> you wish. Interesting. So, how's things? Rough time starting from zero? Well, Dogtown isn't quite the promised land, is it? I've had to learn its ways. Don't take... Hmm. Good lord, that's a lot of lore. I guess this is the whole... This is the whole backstory of Dogtown? I think I've read this already, though. Yeah. Kindly, the egg suits you, do they? They do not, but they do appreciate talent. Provided you've got the right skills, you can earn your second chance. So what are you up to these days? Honestly, the same things I did at Zeta Tech. Ah, so hazing peeps and clapping their cred. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Repairing and modifying weapons and implants. Whatever comes my way. Sure, it's older gear, cheaper parts. But at least there are no more suits breathing down my neck. Okay. Yeah, accidental quest completion. Love to see it. Where did I landed in a weird gap? You know they've been boinking. Yeah. So we do more. Hey, who broke my mirror? Jeez, that's a whole convoy. Ah! What the heck? Can you, like... Hold on, let me try something awesome. Oh! What? Hey, I got the encryption key for Karen Exotics. Nice work. B, one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you teach for a clinic. The doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing. Oh god. Mike, you're right. The true badass mode would be stabbing it through the roof, taking out the driver. <sighs> Would that be? All right, despite their attempts to make me not do this race, I'm going to do this race. Still not working, that's weird. Select. Don't you just 
summon a new car, maybe? Try something. don't like it. I'm going to restart the game. I need that music. I paid for my tunes. Give them to me. Give me my tunes. Dun, dun, dun. I guess I have to wait for it. Yeah, cloud sync. Cloud sync to kick in. Ooh. Oh. Bleh. Bleh. I'm being repressed right now. This is modern gaming. Who's doing it this time? The internet. My save files. There. Okay. I can just turn off cloud sync. I could just do it. That would probably be easy. Uh, my rights are being infringed upon. Some gonk hacked my radio. Yeah, I don't think that music got muted, but I can check the options. Dear, 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 dear. Dear, 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 dear. This is Kermanson. We've got boom, the boom, boom, boom. All right, we got radio. And, uh,. Old timer radio. Mm, let me resummon it. That just like, no, I want a non-broken one. There we go. I don't want everyone to make fun of me when I go to the car race. Day in California. Thank you. 
nailed it. I wonder if they're they're having me drive up here to get me used to these corners before the race is on this part of it. Drift. Oh. Gonna get you. Space boy. There's no uh there's no Eurobeat radio station. God, imagine Cyberpunk's radio stations inside Forza Motorsport. Just imagine it. I couldn't have had a little drum and bass. Oh, is that... Captain, is there a Eurobeat radio station mod? <laughs> Is that what that is? Excellent. Good job, internet. All right. Oh, I got a caller. Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Claire's like Nova. logo. FYI, I'm already here. Avatar is awfully Perfect. like feminine. Side. Sounds good. See ya. It looks like ovaries in a cervix. <laughs> Just realized the piston with the two pistols on either side. All right, chill out. Gonna get you. Space boy. Yeah, try. Need to add more initial declips to media tech. Uh -huh. Out the badlands. Hold on, let me check this mod. Beautiful. 99 Euro beat songs. You can increase or decrease the volume. Opening up metadata, Jason, and changing volume 1.2 to any number you like. For example, volume 1, 0.5. Ah. Uh, so be, that's so cool. Man. Wiki's a man. You can't listen to the radio while you're doing a race, though, I can really you? I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would have to ride shotgun. Bully is a fantastic shot. He is, he is, but he's talking, always. Too much. His mouth never stops running. It's distracting. I take the turns too wide. So next time I actually don't make it, there's duct tape in the trunk. Just saying. This world is alive. Uh. V. Good to see you again. Got another race uh, to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Uh-huh. It's not a fan-friendly event, is it? Who'd want to bake in this sun? Speed, carnage, a crunching metal symphony? Yeah, dull stuff. Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. Actually, it's all so dirt. You'll have your hands full. I probably shouldn't you be too. in my own car. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so I'm gonna wait in the car. Sure. Oh, is it still gonna be? Oh, it's still our car. Hey guys, remember? Oh no, they make you use her car this time. Okay, that's smart. It would be really bad to be in like a, a right. supercar out in the out in the desert off road. All right, let me. Uh, never mind. I wanted to save. 
Because if I can use the radio, then I'm going to install that Eurobeat mod. Ladies and gentlemen, get your pants on right, strap in, and fire up your engines! 30 seconds and counting! You there! Uh -huh. Hey! Ignore him. Luigi tries to get in people's heads. Yeah? What's up? Just wanted to wish you luck! Thanks! What a kind young man! Hey, what? One. Absolutely not. Where do we go? Where the hell are you going? I don't know. Oh, there. Okay. Couldn't see the. Didn't see the thing on the ground. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's why they wanted it in third person, huh? Absolutely not. My immersion is unbroken. It's just weird that there's nothing on the mini map. That's where I was looking. Reminds me of episode one racer. What a game. Oh, 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 we're good. Poor guy's trying. Super catching up, huh? Bad 
bad news. No radio. Okay. I thought it was just gonna roll forward. Oh man. You feeling all right? Huh. How am I doing? You're too wide around corners and slow down the last straightaway, but I'm nitpicking. <laughs> so, no regrets putting me behind the wheel? Not yet. Your last driver is better than I am. Oops. Mm -hmm. He was. Hmm. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. So you're racing for him. He adored this shit. Had a keen mind for machines, unmatched. He could talk to him. When he got behind the wheel, it was like he fused with it. But just him. No implants. What do you say we win this for him? It's like he stuck his hand into a cyber claw. You want to lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Let's go. No way! Just the fucking way! Gah! Man, just the idea that you can walk up to random random NPCs and see their eyebrow hairs. Whoa. Now that's future gaming. Hey F Hunter, what's up? Yeah, I'm, I've just been bouncing back and forth between DLC content and kind of like, I guess, base game. Yeah, I just did a couple of DLC quests. I'm just always, as usual, just kind of enjoying the game at a slow pace. It's a sipping game. Sounded a little weird there for a minute. Or was that in the song? Oh shit, Captain. Space Boy's in there. Good stuff.
How is this what games look like? Ugh. It's so good. What's up, Flosset? So you know what I just realized? There's no way in the game naturally to like be driven somewhere. You can't really hire a cab or anything, can you? Well, no way, you can call Delamain, right? Can you? I'll have, to I'll have to check that out. That's one of the things I really liked about the train system mod, is you could just kind of chill. You could vibe and listen to the radio. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Hey, what's up, Envy? When you first got in the biz, did you ever think games would look like this? Oh, geez. I could have, I could hope, yeah. I think I considered it an inevitability in my lifetime. I thought it might take longer. No, it was it has been pretty fast actually. I don't know that that I really had expectations, to be honest. Yeah. 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 We're good? Okay, we're good. See ya. She said back to her garage. She just dropped me off somewhere. <laughs> is this where her garage is? All right. Meet Hanako at Embers. Uh, ah, there's the Delamain shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, ooh. Damn. The one and only queen bitch of Dogtown. An aspiring beady star who would pounce at the first chance of making it big. And if someone stands in her way of glory, she'll claw their face off. For now, her beaties are mainly circulating amongst the truly desperate beady junkies of Dogtown, but everyone starts somewhere, right? After all, difficult starts make for extra drama in one's biography. Well, we have to go meet her. Abducted beady actress and mysterious kidnapper V to the rescue. Your usual C flick. Just watch out, because... If even Hands doesn't want to boost his street cred from this one, it's probably a real stinker. Fair. I would like to... Is there an apartment nearby? I really like the routine of going and sleeping and getting that XP buff. I guess it's this one. Old Reliable. All right, let me see if I can call Delamain. Huh, another conversation I won or had once with a close friend. Honest, real, no ulterior motives. V, after all those years with the agency, questioning every word, every gesture, every twitch, always looking over my shoulder. Do you know what that's like? So, sounds awful though. I failed so many people over the years. I won't fail you. That cycle of self-disappointment ends now. Sounds genuine. Delamain, I forgot.
Oh, well, he's bugged right now, actually. Yeah, he's he's infected. He might not... You might not be able to hire him. For story reasons. I thought you call the car? Oh! Right. Why is that so fun? Not like that. Hold on. Uh... Oh, maybe I don't have it unlocked yet. I think I have to do the quest where he, like... Where I save him. He's a contact in your phone? That's what I did. I just called him. Or it's a separate contact, you mean? Like Delamain Carr? Call proceed. Uh, Nick's Jew. Oh, hold on a minute. That could have been interpreted badly. We'll go with Naiju. I think that's probably more what it's supposed to be. Thank you very much for the sub. Call Placide. Yeah, let's give Placide a ring. Just Nyx? Okay. <laughs> you got it. Wait, what? Oh, it's eight. That's right. Needed the sniper? Ooh. I'm happy to contribute. He's not answering. Weird. Yeah, right, Yondo? God. Being able to just swoop right into the door of wherever you're going. Doing the DLC? Yeah, actually the next quest I have queued up here is a DLC quest. But I'm gonna take a nap first, because I'm tired. This place is so swank. Sleep in my beanbag? Aw. the cozy sounds of the bed flexing. Yep, in bed at 8 p.m. Early to bed, early to rise. Yeah, quick cup of coffee. Brush your teeth out the door. <laughs> to this day, I wish I did my playthrough as male V, knowing what I knew after I beat the game. What is, what is the thing that you know? Or does it relate to uh, character sexual preferences? Yeah, Pan Am. Yeah, right, fire guy. New York brownstone, loft apartments. The, like the actual pinnacle. The coolest way to live as a 20-year-old? What the heck is this? 
I can't stop thinking about this. I'm just going to unload it on you. You can ignore it if you wish. I've had it up to here with Saul. Does he truly think this family will be better off by selling its soul to a corp? I've never seen someone with their head so far up their ass. Nothing about this is going to end well. Well, I have a whole paragraph to write back, apparently. Maybe the Biotechnica deal isn't the worst thing in the world? Hmm. Got no love for corpos either. Screwed me over more times than I care to remember. Steel, got to deal with them sometimes. Had the displeasure to make a deal with one the other day. An Arasaka henchman by the name of Takamura. Slimy fucker with a mouthful of platitudes. So trust me when I say that I get you. Why do I have to talk shit about Takamura? Just to empathize. Oh, okay. It's really whether or not I think Takamura is a good guy. Not all corpos are the same. Sometimes underneath that pressed suit, there's a decent human being. Maybe it'll be like that with Biotechnica. That's a little naive. But I don't want to... I would rather say that and not be mean to Takamura. Even though he's not here. But if I play my cards right, Takamura is going to be the best man at my wedding. And that's going to be awkward. So you got to think ahead of these things. Yeah, it's going to take... <laughs> you don't get a reply quickly when you send a paragraph like that. Hey, Dibito. Thank you very much for gifting a couple subs. Oh, wait, I did... I got a... Hold on a minute. Refreshed and energized. Oh... You actually get a, uh, you get buffs for taking a shower and drinking coffee. I thought the coffee would give me the, like, drinking buff. I didn't know the shower would work. That's awesome. Yeah, and sleeping. Got the whole trifecta. All right. Like, there's like a sad droning sound in this in, in this uh, I think it's in this area of town I wonder what it comes from song? No, because you, you hear it when you're just walking around. It was playing when I walked into my apartment, too. Man, a lot of different theories. It's the sneak around track, combat music for 6 3. Someone else thinks it's the floaty drones. What do you mean by sad droning sound? It's gone now. I'll try to point it out. But it's like, it's like sad whales. It's kind of ethereal, sad sounds. I've heard it when walking around on foot, so it's like. It's either environmental music. Or it's, it's some, like, envir- like, I'm saying a like a lot, sorry. It's some environmental effect tied to that area of Night City. It kind of sounds like it's, it's that. At least it sounds like it's that for me. The Brain Porium. What a cool sign. Oh my god. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Rude. 
Oops. Oh no! Uh, oh. I've used it all. What a fucking mess. It's like the place is robbed. Finger on the trick, V. Didn't know what to do. So the donkey was just standing around in his barn, feeling pretty damn hungry. Luckily, how much longer do you keep me here? I need to like get my fucking nails done. Not exactly. The studio only took for this. Every day, spotted a water trough at the other end of the barn. And here's the kicker: the bale and the trough were the same distance away, opposite ends of the barn. So, the dilemma. Which one first? The donkey pondered. Hay or water, water or hay. The donkey just couldn't decide. Eventually, unable to make up its mind, the donkey died of both hunger and thirst. R.I.P. donkey. My chumba. Now, the deal might not hold up under logical scrutiny, but that's beside the point. Moral is... Don't dilly-dally. Find yourself teetering, facing a dilemma? Just make a goddamn choice before it's too late. Y'all want some more music? Ash has got you covered. There's Lena's bio, bio. Looking for raw gonzo experiences? Lena Molina is not just the queen bitch of Dogtown, but of brain dances too. The rules are simple. Fire up a scroll and immerse yourself in Lena's crazy world until smoke starts coming out of your ears. Every frame comes packed with sex and action amped up to the max with the latest designer brain-melting drugs. Already a fan? Can't live without Lena? Then head to the store to check out the primest merch or drop a review for all the lead heads that can't wait to keep up with the times. Or that can't keep up with the times. In the mood? Then get comfy on that couch and stuff your hand down where it belongs, because it'll be a show to remember. Noise. It's like up on everything. Lena's kosher bloodwurst. Cool. Sounds classy. Now hurry up and let me out. Lena Molina, she around? I am Lena Molina, queen bitch of Dogtown. Listen, get me out of here and I'll... I'll let you take me out to dinner. Maybe. Guess it's your lucky day. Hey, sweet cheeks, eyes up. Stay at my tits long enough. Bash this asshole in the head and take me home. Put a sock in it, dumbass. <clears throat> Gonk in the boots, my friend, and a uh, partner, Tool. And here I thought we had a fucked up partnership. Let's go upstairs before he gets too riled up. I'll explain everything. This is gonna be good. Can feel it. Jesus Christ. Fuck! I should be scrolling. You're thanking myself, my popularity. Mark my words, asshole. My boys will find me. They'll bust me out of this shithole. Will you finally let me out? Or did you just come here to jerk off? Get in here, quick! Interesting. Dear Envy, thanks for the cheer. Oh, it's 420! Sizzler. Erlina. Uh? I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bike. I'm go. Uh, going through a difficult time right now. Okay, okay, it's the same thing. Oh no, oh no, this is gonna be sad. Going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only catch a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the preem content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan. 
Edgar Tool. Cute. Started to wish I hadn't burned all my fan mail. <laughs> Heartfelt too. Must have been important getting this to her. She's got little boobs. Oh, there's words that are spelled wrong. And they're scratched out. Ah! Oh, it hurts. Don't got the key. Oh, then fucking find it. You for real, Edgar? This really necessary? Who the fuck is Edgar? Are you scared? Hmm. He's a stronger kick to shake sense into him. Tool's been a diehard fan of Lena since the beginning. Relives all her BDs. This being Dogtown, a few days ago we had a power surge. BD Wreath was pulling juice while Tool was, oh well, God. being Lena. Oh man. BD got stuck in his head, sizzled his synapses. Ever since then, he thinks he's the real Lena Molina. Talks like her, acts like her, the whole works. Figuring as you're already a witness to this whole mess, might have a job for you. Who's this Lena chick anyway? She scrolls BDs. Gonzo content in sparkly packaging. Runs with a gang, fucks DJs, snorts designer drugs, and tears up the streets and tricked out rides while squirting lead out the window. She's squirting. Hey, Haruhi. Uh, yeah, this, this gadget's pretty cool, I think. The the secret sauce is not only is it like ergonomically designed, you just rest your hand on it and you have like all these paddles and buttons to hit, but you can combine an analog stick with a mouse and use both at the same time. So you get that analog movement, being able to like walk and run and move in more than just eight directions, but also you can look around with a mouse instead of having to do a bunch of just like kind of like robotic acceleration movements, which is kind of how c control sticks end up like moving. Anyway. No doubt, Sitch is a little strange. But who am I to say? I ain't a ripper. Since you're here, willing to pay top eddies if you can help with a little something. It's about capitalizing on the present state of affairs. Catch my drift? I don't, know. Ah, <sighs> look. Stores barely staying afloat. Nobody's buying our squirrels and Hansons, bleeding us dry in rent. Yeah, heads, Nova, catches your eye. But let's not kid ourselves. Folks in Dogtown ain't ample of the wallet. Your tune loses touch with reality, and you're angling to make a quick Euro buck? Oh, please. Don't need a Merc lecture in me on ethical biz practices. Gotta stay and keep an eye on Tool. Make sure he doesn't off himself or break something. You go get Lena and bring her here for a BD shoot. We'll do a collab. Call it Double Gang Banger. Mm-hmm. Lena gets content for an episode. Store's rep gets a boost from her fans. Win, win. This kind of checks out, actually. Like, he would love that. Right? This is the thing he would love the most. As a Lena fan. Than to be Lena and have sex with Lena and be forever in one of the most amazing Lena While I'm still doppel gangbangs. Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post virtue. <laughs> they all wackadoodle. I've seen it all. Bazingle. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Because right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Okay, I'll get Lena down here. Just need her address. Sent. If we scroll something preem, I'll throw in a little extra. Sounds like a bulletproof plan. What could go wrong? Not afraid Tool might stay this way forever? Nah, he'll be fine. Hey, Sometimes peeps go a little wackadoodle post virtue. 
Trust me, I've seen it all. More worried about those barkest pricks coming to collect. Because right now, we're making as much as a joy toy with erectile dysfunction. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm off to talk to a wannabe porn star. Hey, Chu. Chumito. Got a real nice job lined up for you. Oh, yeah? What kind of job? What kind? You're not gonna ask how much does it pay? You tell me the job, I'll give you the price tag. Dodger need a runner to pick up some components from NC and haul them down to Pacifica. Oh, no, 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 no. The cops stop me for a random search. I lose the goods. I've heard what Dodger's capable of. Whoa. Ghost car. I wondered if the summoning in the air thing still worked. rid of them before they steal our little star I want to try talking to him first could be chums of Linus hey once your chrome ripped out of you no then fuck off nice digs who lives here the fuck you care turn around and keep walking chum this is cool I wonder if this is only something Street Kid can do, or if it's like every every origin has an option here to talk them out of it. Warden Dog Town, so you're on Bar Guest's shit list. Suggest you Delta while they're spread thin looking. How the fuck would you know? Paid me to tally you up, scan your gear, but if I'm being honest, fuck those guys. Shot a chew of mine last year. Screw this, we're out of here. Not getting paid to eat lead. Hey, Nomad and I could only fight them? That's awesome! It's happening. I'm from the streets. Attention, this is Commander. Good news, Dog Town. Johnny's just hanging out in there. me breaking in she has bath water outside oh man ah oh, come on come on missing lena already have you relived hot and steamy eight times and still haven't had enough starting today you can relive it from the comfort of your own home touch her feel her taste her the water from lena molina's baths is the best way to get close to the star and support the lifestyle she deserves only 30 eddies per bottle. Holographically certified authentic. Why is there why are there two dollar symbols? Euro dollar, I guess? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense now, now that I thought about it for one second. <laughs> I 
the butt plug in the sink. Uh. Letter from a fan. My queen, guess where I put this shard before I sent it to you? Answer. Really close to my heart. Kawai Desne Ashteru says Trumpeteer69. Excellent. Good shit. Very good shit. Scrolling schedule. Rolling with the scavs. Easy as fucking balcony scheme. Easy beef promo. Linaverse SO2 EO2? Okay. Whoop. Time to check in. Milady. Twas inserted in young butthole. Give me your encrypted data. Ah! My brain got too big. Oh, you can like change her schedule? Oh, that's fun. I wonder if she'll be mad. See what we got here. Inking my ass. Machine gun polka. Northside nunnery noir. Trauma dream. Let's see here. Bo <laughs> Bottleicious babes in the bimbo mobile. It's one of my favorites. Year. The overall output of Dogtown's newest star is, put plainly, the worst kind of gutter trash super glued together from third-rate ideas. The editing is so bad as to be almost seizure-inducing, while the content is a gut-wrenching cringe fest. It's hard to say who the target audience of this brain, dan brain danceria is, seeing as it's too obscene for children, yet at the same time somehow too asinine for adults. I took an entire weekend to relive all of Lena's, Lena Molina's scrolls to write this review, but I had to stop midway, because after each one I felt measurably less intelligent. As Jesus said on his way to Golgotha, when he was stopped by a journalist, it's hard to find anything to like about this. I read a lot of, like, playful condescension in the, like, in the in-universe BD reviews. They're all from, like, haughty... Oh my gosh, she has action figures. They're all from haughty, self-important, but kind of not very good writers that drop a bunch of unnecessary and, and overly intelligent references. Maybe that's just me, though. I would say few things are more roastable than games media, but honestly, a lot of the roastability of games media has disappeared in the last couple of years. Dolphinator? Man, there must be a lot of juices around. So I guess now that I've rooted around inside her place, but I'm too stupid to hack her schedule, I just wait for her? I guess so. There's Lena. Pretend you're someone important. Lay some uh, studio cool on her. Don't need acting pointers from you, Johnny. Uh, let me guess. Another stalker. How long have you been waiting here, hmm? All night? Want me to sign your pecs? Where's my crew? We're supposed to shoot, and they're not fucking here. Amateurs. <sighs> anyway, you want an autograph or something? Okay, let's just tell her where things stand. Tool had an accident. He's delusional. 
and only meeting Lena will help. If she looks hard enough, maybe she'll find a shred of human compassion within her. Please, Chick's been packaged as a BD product. Last I checked, products don't have feelings. Hey, wake up. Like talking to a wall. I'm a talent scout for BD Syndicate, and boy, do I have the perfect role for you. We're piloting a new BD show, and if it takes off and you've got good chemistry with the co-star, we'll dive straight into full production. Whoa, slow down, guy. I might be easy, but I'm not cheap, and I always charge in advance. Fine. Ain't a problem. Transfer in now. Wow. You really know how to impress a girl, huh? I take it we've got a deal? We do. Did you bring me my script? Uh, won't be needing one. It's all improvised. Sending you the address. I'll meet you there tonight. The producer, Shank, he'll be waiting for you on location. Uh, got to get ready, do my makeup, nails. Uh, thanks, sweetie. Ciao. So smug. Love his little smirk. Ooh. Let's see here. Next race practically in my backyard. Brandon Wilson. Okay. Easy enough. You don't like this, Johnny? Why not? Okay. Oh, I don't get to be there for the filming? That's fair. Uh, maybe I do the next race? Your I don't know why I love splattering on the ground. Why do I love it? get tricked. They always trick me and I hate it. Alright. Wait, what? Oh. Someone totally broke into my unit and had a prime time pretending they were me. I swear if I don't get out of here, I'll plant a bullet in my brain. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder who would do that. Oh, if a certain quest is done before this, you can persuade her without paying anything and it unlocks some extra dialogue at the end of the quest. That's kind of cool.
Claire. V, ready for the next race? Already here, ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride, or am I bringing Beast? We'll take my ride. Feels more natural to me. You get it. Of course, yours it is. Meet there, yeah, Rancho. Be right there. See you then. I'm gonna lose all my buffs. Tragic. Ooh. Let's see here. Lena and Tool are already laying into each other. Need you to set them straight because right now it's a shouting match, not content. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess she didn't have a whole lot of prep that somebody was there that believed they were her. Dean Russell, knew him, didn't you? Somebody put that dog down? Russell wasn't put down. Russell put himself down. Didn't let up. Didn't know when to. Hey V, I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. Not worry this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. It could be though. Oops. Or the next one. One after that. Chew of mine got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So, you know, it is what it is. Case or Alice or all. This race is giving me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? You got 6th Street, the mocks. Gangs are well repped. It's a matter of when a temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Start your stallion. This should be fun. A good street race. I want to smell that choo choo bird. Let him roar. Make my ears bleed. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's count. I didn't, I didn't cut it sharp. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you understand though, it's a race. Was that a turn? It was. Okay, I messed that guy up more than I got messed up. Watch our back. They're moving to pass. Dare him to try. Kester, that's a good question. I don't know what happens if you bring a, a vehicle that has weapons mounted on it to a street race. We can win this team. Oh. Autonomous 816. 
Thank you very much for gifting some subs there. Can't see. Okay. me back to my GTA online days. Hey, Reese, Thank you very much for the sub. 16 months. Thank you. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, I don't know. Watch our back. We're moving to pass. Dare him to try. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Over there. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna have to buff this one out. Man, this car doesn't like to, to sit still, does it? It's boring to race. Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? Car still moving? Before. My husband, yeah. Wheel to your heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. We brought daffodils to the hospital. Yeah, Morgie, I beginning. agree. This game has so much going for it. I'm glad more people are giving it more of a chance. I agree. Years. Dean used to laugh that for our 15th said he'd finally talk me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Oh. Uh, I remember even like three years ago when the game came out, feeling pretty confident that its its virtues would win out in the end or that people would eventually be able to see them. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean, only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel, Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter, it was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean, Dean and Sampson had a history going way back. Did something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Your husband, how'd he die exactly? 
We'd just powered into the final straight, Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. We lost control. Yeah, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races. In line with the rules. Uh, how to set up game audio attenuation. So that's under filters, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can put filters on audio and then there's a compressor that you can set a sidechain ducking source to. So essentially you put a compressor on your game audio and set the duck source to your mic. And then from there you just have to kind of fiddle with all the settings to make it match your audio setup. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <sighs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. Samson. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. That was weird. Sorry I lied to you, V. If Samson dies by the rules of the game, all right. But I won't help you execute the guy. Can't count on that. That's fair. I can agree to that. It's all I can promise. Trust me. Revenge don't soothe your soul. It just makes you a killer. That's all. Not the way I see it. But fine. Till the final, V. Yeah, V has killed a lot of people, but they, you know, maybe he's regretting that. I don't know. It's all in character. I was hoping I could whack the... I was hoping I could whack the hood off, but that doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Does this mean a fixer is here? It won't let me jump. There. Weird. You can see the... You can see the outline of my, my stupid hat. A man in a boonie hat was just giving somebody advice about revenge. There's our guy. It won't soothe your soul. I guess somebody's supposed to be here? Yeah. Oh yeah, alright, let's go check in on Shank. Uh, gamer stretch. Good time for a gamer stretch, yeah. Losing patience, huh? I guess they got me out of the way. Hey 
there, High Riders. You are cruising at zero altitude with 107.5 Dark Star. Some people have no appreciation for good flexibility. sounds quieter. change the audio balance in 2.01 hmm. I think I may have broken out the windshield no it's still there never mind hey blind is guardian hey candle jack thanks for the sub very important message here. Modern day car wheels need more yolks and buttons. Yolks. Yolks. Prove me wrong. I can't. To do so would be a fool's errand. When you're right, you're right. You've also reminded me I need to get, uh, I need to get eggs. I got some sliced turkey and that goes really well with the eggs. You gotta like griddle the turkey a little bit first so it gets like a little crispy. And then if you really want to go for it, you have to saute some onions first. Then you cook the turkey in the onions and butter. And then you dump the eggs on top. After you've whisked it with a little bit of milk. Ah! Oh. Yeah, spam and eggs go real hard. Spam is essentially just like loaf to bacon. Good news. Yesterday we completed some necessary. That's how to make an entrance. How do you feel about Cyberpunk currently? Oh, I love it. I mean, I've always been a fan, but it, and it's only gotten better. Oh, here we go. Shame, bitch. This ought to be fun. I won't let this go. This looks a copyright protected, okay? You will be paying me for the rest of your life. Your looks that so? Yours? Bags, shoes, glasses, all custom made. Lina Malina is a registered trademark. You fucking copycat, bitch. Uh, cheers, okay, Messiah. This is fucking weird. How am I even supposed to act? I gotta take charge of this. It's my set now. All right, people. Director on set. Someone's gotta take the reins. So great to have you back. Oh, is that good? Is that bad? Struck by my beauty. 
So he gets to live being Lena while Lena reads to him his letter. Sending you your lines. Just read them out loud. Okay. Got them. I guess if anything's going to snap him out of it, it'd be that. Worst case, he goes nuts and kills everyone. Yeah, how could that go bad? Dear Lina, I've been following you ever since the beginning when you were making those crazy amateur BDs with those bikers from the Badlands. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Life kicked me pretty hard in the ass. I can only get a break when I'm being you. Thanks for the prime content. I know you're putting your body and soul into these BDs. Your biggest fan, Edgar Tool. Whoa! You look just like Lena Molina. I am Lena Molina. Listen, I know life is hard, and you do stuff to try and escape, like pretending to be someone else. But at some point, you have to accept who you really are. We all do. Am I being punked? Formulaic conventional narratives are so last gen. This is art, okay? A study of the labyrinth of the human soul. With a bunch of amateurs, I'm out of here. Shank, don't sell her any more BDs. Uh, thanks for the help. Settle your fee in a sec. What the? Shank, what the fuck am I wearing? Uh, hey, Tool. Glad you're back. Back? Huh? Fuck you mean back? Tell you all about it later, okay? No need to drag our uh, customers into this. Can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes you actually manage to do shit right. Gee, thanks. Huh? I guess that's a good thing. Always a vendor. Everything okay? Hangover. Feels like this hot, runny shit swirling in my head. I can barely remember the last few days. Got anything that might interest me? Okay. Whoa. Cool. You can buy those? Oh. They're not that expensive either. Well, then I should just buy them. Come buy some Blorbos, Ram Nugs. I forgot to drop all the uh, iconics in my stash. I should do that. Behold all of my levels. I still don't have any solo anything. I can do it finally. Okay, now I, I guess I need to look into um, I need to look into leveling uh, cyberware and how that works. Let me know. You know where? Growlfm dot web. Who was the shaggy hair dude with a vest and sunglasses? I know a lot of you need it. This guy? Wait, who are you talking about? I'm unsure. Or do you mean, uh, do you mean Johnny? Let's see. Near Cyberware Clinic. I don't know. I'm not sure. If he shows up again, I guess point him out. You enjoying the game? Of course. I'm having a grand old time. I keep forgetting you can't like you can't double jump to save yourself from fall damage. <laughs> Down on the ground, crumpled.
Oh, you can dodge. Or you dash? Okay. You can dash. Come on. You can dash. The dash doesn't always come out either. <laughs> oh no. No, come on. What? Ah, uh, roll it back. Like it's the screenshot is me dying. <laughs> awesome. I mean, I, I hit F9 while I was dying, thinking that that would reload me. It didn't, though. I guess it just saved again. Walk past everybody. Go right into the clinic. I'm rich. Whoa. There's guns on the ground. Complete with a five-cylinder engine that's generous for this price range. Well, well, well. Our humble clinic has a visitor. Better acceleration. I'm wondering, what series of events leads a man like you to a place like this? And since when do you know what type of man I am? Fate? Is that what you're insinuating, huh? I'm here because I choose to be. Back on your feet after the SCAS visit? What were we supposed to do, curl up and cry? When nothing is ever easy, the difficult must become easy. Got any spare implants for sale or all them spoken for? Nothing's wasted here. We can find something, provided you don't try to haggle. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of curious, if I upgrade to tier 4, can I change all of the- oop! Can I change all of the things? Upgrade- uh, upgrade? No. When do I- so do I want to buy like really low level augments and then upgrade them myself so I get to pick all the perks? Much to consider. Uh, I'll be right back. Hey, now, I'm curious here. Can I get a crappier version? No. I can get a special skeleton, though. The capacity doesn't change based on the tier. Oh yeah. I'm just curious how I can, like, how can I take maximum advantage of customizing perks? So let's see. Melee damage explosion. When I upgrade this to the next tier, I'm curious what's going to happen. Ah! Uh, keep getting the buttons wrong. Nothing. Nothing happened. Let me go read that skill again.
Oh, I didn't- I don't know. I didn't have it. Uh, an upgrading. You can choose from two stat modifier options. A third option is available at tier three and higher. Ah, uh, well... How do you... Is there a... Maybe there's like... you. Maybe if I... This should be the cheapest uh, ripper, right? Theoretically. Yeah, maybe I... I can do this and then upgrade this one? Surely there are, there must be vendors that sell like level one. It didn't let me choose. When does it do that? Maybe this doesn't get attributes. Hmm. Do you even have the perk? I do now. After I've sold everything. God damn it. Okay, I see it now. I see how it works. God damn it. They just give you multiple options on that screen. Ah. We got it. We got it. We got it this time. Okay, huh. Okay, I see. So if I did this though, yeah, okay, there's only one option. Really using smart weapons. Stealth, melee damage resistance, hmm. Oh, that has added melee damage. Maybe that's the business. Maybe that's the juice. Plus more head sh headshot and weak spot damage. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Three gen damage. 
crit damage. Hmm. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, I get it. So many options. If something works with Sand Devston. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll get the beans. Armor, cooldown, stealth damage, melee damage, aim speed. Yes. Put the beans in my brain, Elon. Ooh. Damn. Just FYI, folks, I think I'm going to be switching to uh, Alan Wake here in a bit. Continuing the playthrough of... Alan Wake, it's DLCs, and Control. Catching up on the Remedyverse before Alan Wake 2 comes out. Huh. So that's kind of interesting. I like the fact that, uh... It shot a weak spot damage? Yeah. I like the fact that, um... A lot of these... A lot of these buffs and stuff can like layer on to give you multiple headshot buffs so it's like you get your takedown buff you get a headshot buff and then it starts rolling into each other so you just can get like one shot kills on successive dudes because your buff starts stacking up and up and up let's see anything else going on in here poisoned enemies I guess a health item wouldn't be bad Hmm, that would be really good too. 6% health. Oh, I already had one, okay. Stealth damage, decreased vision. I feel like decreased vision is what I want. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Wait. Nothing about... Okay. Crit chance and crit damage go up. And that's all. By 5% each. Maybe I might be able to get different eyes. Yeah, I'm okay. Headshot damage. Skills on intelligence, though. Eh. Open handling, aim speed. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of... 
It's kind of it. My special eyes. Man, I still have more stuff. Decreased vision. I like that. It's only like 1%, but still. I got those stealth bones. Okay. Alright, that's good enough for now. Show me them stats. How low is that vision? Let me check in a, in a minute here. Check out Bright Falls on YouTube. It's the Alan Wake prequel. Alright. Oh yeah. Kidnapping. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Here we go. See your gig called for a psychiatrist. Not a merc. Chum got stuck thinking he was someone else. Thankfully he managed to help him. Now he's back to his old self. Mr. Hands never leaves you on red. Just like a pat on the back, 21 gun salute. Well, you can have my mildest congratulations. Now kindly return to work. Alright. I guess he doesn't give a shit how the story ends, really. As long as everybody's happy. Right, let's see. Stats. 75% visible. A full quarter less visible. Ooh. Oh, okay. Street cred is just discounts? Well, I guess there's other things. There's like, um... I think there's gear that doesn't get sold until you're high enough street cred. Hey, Dr. Beef Chunk. Thanks for the sub. You guys' outfit goes so hard. How is it possible to attain, attain sheer cyber power? All you gotta do is, uh... All you gotta do is use the, uh... <laughs> the transmog, it's its actually super useful. I really like the way this game does it. Like, if it ever touches your inventory, it's available to transmog, no matter what you do after. Alright, what am I doing? I want to do, like, one more quick thing. Maybe I'll just find something on the map. Something local. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Whatever. I just wish I could transmog anywhere. Do they update that? Um, not that I know of. You still have to be back in your apartment. You can fast travel though? Not the biggest limitation. Hello? Hello? You Frida? Yes, and we're closed. Yeah, I guess you could just carry the clothes. There's that too. Reed and Alex send me. Who the fuck are they? They say you're a collector. Unification war era trinkets. Uh come in. Be quick about it. Do you know why we have rules? Procedures? To goddamn follow them. V. Good to see you. Oh shit. This is the next thing? I thought it was just like a side quest. Yeah, I guess it is. Whoa. Well, that's just too intimidating then. Alright, well. I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for a bit. 
One, two, three, Wesson. You missed the Nintendo 64 at Azel Kmart. I wonder where it is now, huh? Is it uh, gathering dust in a closet somewhere? Maybe it's on the shelf at a Goodwill? Maybe the uh, owners of the Kmart have it plugged in and are playing it right now. Who can say? When's the last time you tore it up on a DDR machine? Ooh. It was within the last six months, I think. I had like two beers and decided to play DDR. Cleared Sugaru on heavy. Still got it. Did kind of feel like dying though. Um, speaking of dying, I'm gonna go eat some yogurt. Uh, and then I'll be back with uh, Alan Wake. Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, that, that game's... That game's getting more... Like, I'm liking it the more and more I play it. Uh, which isn't to say I didn't like it to begin with, but... Yeah. One, two, three. Um, I used to go there all the time. The skating rink? It's just locked now. If I ever go back to visit my family. Uh, somebody told me that it was because they had lead paint in there. Um, one time I was out walking. I actually, like, walked up and was looking in the windows... You can still see skates on the walls in there. They straight up just locked it and walked away. Um, that's the stardust? Yeah. <laughs> it gives you dreams. Makes you feel like you're in space. But yeah, it's pretty spooky. I really want to pick the lock and walk around in there. I, I can't imagine anything more dreamlike, given the amount of time I spent at that skating rink, than walking around in it now that it's just been completely abandoned for 20 years or something. So... Uh, oh, really? Damn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't... You remember the year? I don't think I remember that. Let's see here. Yeah, that was... That wasn't... There were some bad years. I think 92 was okay. And playing NES sounds like something uh, we would have done. Do you remember what games? That'll be exciting. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some yogurt. It's yogurt time. I might make a little coffee, too. I'm gonna be I'm gonna treat myself. Uh, so I'll be back soon. Maybe like 10 minute break and then uh, more Alan Wake. So see you soon. Uh -huh.